Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you with some more Zawa. How was your Friday? Is your Friday good? Let me know down in the comments. I want to know how's your Friday going? Did you do anything fun? Did you have to work? I had to work, but you know what? I still got you this episode. All right, in this episode though, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of fun stuff. Um, I'm gonna be probably yeah. I'm gonna take a, a little pause from building an exhibit after an exhibit after an exhibit because I'm getting all these exhibits dotted around the place, but I don't have any way to connect them. Uh, we also need to name the platypi, which you guys killed it again in the uh, in the comments section. So I gotta actually come up with some of these. One of these ones, though, I'm definitely gonna be naming Perry. Okay, so I heard this kind of changes his appearance, so I'm gonna name one Perry for sure. And now the other one, I gotta actually look, because you got a lot of comments. You guys left with me a lot of comments. I gotta comb through and figure out which one I wanna use. A few moments later. All right, I think I've got it selected. It is actually kind of a tough one to pick, uh, pick because you guys had a lot of really awesome suggestions out there. Uh, let's see, who can I give a, a couple shout-outs to for, uh, for throw throwing some names in there? Uh, let's see, a lot of people suggested Perry. Uh, so, I mean, there's m multiple people who said that. Uh, ben Schultz, if you're watching, thank you for the name suggestion. Jerry, actually, was, uh, was another one that you suggested along with Perry. Uh, let's see, we got... Uh, Larry was also suggested. A lot of people liking the naming, the the, the rhyming names, um, which I get a kick out of. Uh, let's see, we could do uh, Perry's cousin Phineas. Uh, that was uh, that was submitted by. Oh, I can't pronounce that. It looks kind of Russian. Maybe I'm not sure. It's a different. It's definitely not English, uh, nor is it in any kind of a uh, alphabet that I actually recognize. I'm sorry. I'm 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 a little dumb. Uh, but thank you for the name suggestion. <laughs> Uh, Coco was uh, submitted by uh, Cherry, which I actually really do like the name. Uh, let's see, the uh, Cherry said that it would actually be named after the cocoa beans in Minecraft. I actually really like that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick the one for a um, for a platypus, but I do like the name Coco, possibly for one of the gorillas or or maybe uh, maybe one of the spider monkeys or something. If I get around to adding them, and then there's always a uh, uh, Kelly suggested that I name him uh, name him Quack or Flapper or Quack or Flipper. Um, I think that's pretty good, uh, pretty good. But I think just for fun, uh, I think we're gonna go with Jennifer Church if you're watching. Uh, Penelope. That was such a lovely name, Penelope. Um, I think that's just a great name. I don't. There's no real reason behind it, but Perry and Penelope. I just kind of like. It. I don't even know if one of these is a chick or not, but it's gonna be named Penelope regardless. So, uh, all right. So Perry and Penelope are gonna be the two, the two <laughs> the, the two platypi. Um, is it turning nighttime? What, what time is it? Oh, it's noon. All right. Still no progress on the aquarium. I've been a little busy. In case you guys didn't re uh, see on the on the channel, we, I've got a Pixelmon series that I've started, and uh, I'm actually kind of hosting it. So yeah, it, it, yeah. it's uh, uh, or I'm I'm the or one of the organizers for it anyway. Um, actually, big shout out to Bayfish if you're watching, man. You are a god. I gotta uh, re-emphasize that on almost every video I make now. I think because uh, oh, he's the 200 subscriber park man. I love I love the fact that I put like subscriber checkpoints throughout all the builds and stuff on different series because I still stop and just look fondly at these things. I'm like, man, such such support. Such support coming from you guys. Oh, but Bayfish, yeah, you're a god, man, for uh, helping out with all the technical stuff regarding the Pixelmon series. All right, so uh, Perry and Penelope, here's your home. I went ahead and added a couple path blocks, and I realized I completely forgot to do that. Uh, I think it adds a nice little character. How's the Tasmanian Devils doing? Are they still trying to murder my face? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Hey, guys, how's it going? All right, so let's get uh, Perry and Penelope in here. Now, uh, I believe Perry is the uh, platypus from Phineas and Ferb, which I think he's like teal colored. So I might change him into looking like that. Um, let's go ahead and get these things on the hot bar, as well as, let's, let's organize them a little bit here, as well as, open this up. Where's my, oh, my book's already here. As well as my book. Maybe I'll actually check to see if these are boys or girls or what, what am I dealing with here. All right, so uh, if it does change the appearance of them, it should change them into like a teal-colored platypus. Penelope, Perry. Okay, let's do Perry first here. Let's throw him out there and see what he is. It's female. You're going to be Pen uh, Penelope. Bam. All right, awesome. So that one's empty now. And then this one should be uh, Perry. Set him down like right here. And then are you a boy or girl? You're a boy. Look at that. It actually worked out. Okay, whoa. Come back here. Perry. Bam. It does change. He's got the little hat and everything. That's adorable. <laughs> so, yeah. Perry the platypus from Phineas and Ferb. There he is. Bam. That's awesome. I love little Easter eggs like that. Hidden within a mod pack, too. Like It's just like the Simba one where you name a lion Simba and changes to look like uh, uh, Simba from Lion King. 
Oh, there you go. Penelope and uh, Perry. He oh, I didn't make that jump. I gotta try to get out of here without uh, letting them escape. I'll get it one of these times. Watch this. It's gonna be impressive. What do they say? Like, third, time, third time's charm. He I got it. Oh, I almost fell right back in. All right, so now in today's episode, aside from... <laughs> uh, I love it. Aside from naming uh, the platypi, uh, I want to I do that up this landscape because I didn't get to it this week, and it's really frustrating me because I logged on, I'm looking, I'm like, man, this looks bad. I mean, the exhibits look cool. I like it, but the landscape around here is still pretty bad. I need to get my paths put in. I need my, my bushes, and I need my foliage, and my niceness, and stuff like that. Uh, Maddie's uh, work tent is kind of in the way here. For some of this, I'll leave it here for right now, unless you, uh, so hopefully she can move it um, to wherever she'd like it. But I'll build around it. But in this episode, I want to kind of knock out some of the paths in this area and pretty up this place a little bit. Like right here, this part right here. I mean, if there's a walkway going right here, this is this is a safety hazard. People could fall in the pond and get eaten by the the salmon that are in here. There's salmon in here, right? There's fish in here. Right? Oh yeah, there they are. Look at that bloodthirsty little things. All right, so I think I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to uh, get to work on terraforming in this area. I'll leave the beacon here for right now. Let me uh, store some of these things so I can get them out of my inventory. Uh, I'm going to leave the beacon here right now. But basically, in this uh, the Australian area here, I want to do that up this place just a bit so that the pads are all put in. Everything's looking nice and pretty uh, because it just it just doesn't look good right now. And if you look at the zoo overall, like if you look at the at the overview of the zoo, everything looks really cool with the nice path blocks put in. And then right here is just grass. <laughs> I didn't I didn't actually finish that. Um, and I also need to finish this bridge over here. That might be something I try to get to today, too. And then we're going back to the big cats exhibit, which might happen in the next episode. Not going to lie. I think that might actually be next episode. Um, th there's all this north north stuff I got to get to building, too. So, And, I, of course, I still need to make progress on the aquarium. Ugh, working with two kids now, ugh, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to get to these things. There's a whole lot of stuff I want to do, and then there's the responsibilities of an adult, you know. Ah, priorities, you know, but I'm not forgetting about this. I'm going to stick with it till the end or if the server closes or whatever I'm gonna be here until the end plus Maddie needs to get over there and do something She's doing something with the river right there. I don't actually know what it is, but uh, I'm just gonna let her do that so All right, I'm gonna get to uh, digging up some of this here because I need to get the path blocks put in and uh, I think it's time for one of those uh, one of those smexy montages right now All right, little progress update here. Check this out, all right, I'm starting to get the path kind of circling around. You can see on the map, actually, that it's starting to look kind of like more like an actual pathway around there. Uh, I got a whole lot of dirt I still gotta spread in here. Uh, kind of spread it out as evenly as I can. And by evenly, I mean as randomly. <laughs> um, to try to get this to actually look like a path um, around here. Oops, that's definitely not right. Uh, as far as this block step up here, I think I'm gonna go with like a cobble slab kind of around the base of it. Because that's what I've been using for over there as well as for uh, making a step up anywhere. So I think I'm just going to stick with that. Um, come on over here next to the Tasmanian Devils. Let's see, are they going to kill me? I think they're down there trying to kill me right now. Yep. Uh, I'm not. I'm running out of this coarse dirt really quick. I'm going to have to actually go on a little bit of a mining adventure to go get more gravel. I think I'm kind of running a little low. Uh, running out of, uh, of supplies is never a good thing. Especially when you're running out of time. Because right now it's during nighttime and terrible monsters are going to come blow me up. i got to sleep. Um, yeah, so the path is coming along nicely. I still got to do all like the foliage and stuff around it. This also does have to lead northward, kind of where the beacon is right now, um, because that's where the uh, aviary is going to go. So there's still I got to keep that in mind. I guess I don't really have to worry too much about that because I can just branch the pathway off at any point. So I just have to get these parts down um, and in here so that uh, you can actually walk around this thing. But yeah, it's coming together nicely. Uh, I know this is a little little unorthodox of an episode because I mean it's not I'm not actually adding an exhibit I'm just taking care of the landscape, but this is like 
Uh, this is the important things you got to do to get from A to B, you know, is the pathways in between. This is kind of what makes a zoo look like a zoo, actually, um, is because, I mean, yeah, you can put all these exhibits randomly in a field someplace, but if you have no pathways connecting them, it starts to look a little, look a little weird. So, plus, I mean, wh where am I? I'm over here. I, I should actually think about adding another bathroom kind of in the north or over here even someplace because there's one here. There's only one for the entire zoo. I mean, it's not a very big zoo, so I guess maybe it's not that bad, bad of a thing. But I could always add another bathroom someplace. But I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll think about that a little bit later. But for right now, I'm, I'm pressing on. I'm still getting more of this path in here. I got to... Man, I, these paths actually are, are pretty... They're, they're kind of repetitive, but they do kind of look nifty. I kind of like them. They look like dirt pads, you know. Um, but, so, but I can probably build these things in my sleep at this point. Because <laughs> I've built so many of them in here. Um... And it is very much just a whole lot of spattering of blocks, but it all comes together. You've seen my build style before. What I like to do is um, I like to sprinkle in blocks and think of like the entire um, the entire landscape or the entire area that you're working in as more of a canvas, and uh, and then put the blocks in appropriately uh, so that that image kind of comes to life. I don't like uh, I don't like just uh, just making it one solid color, because I think that it just looks kind of weird. I like having a little diversity in my blocks. Uh, that's why pads are always like this, landscapes are always like this. Uh, if they're not just solid green, I kind of jazz them up a little bit. The only time I leave them green is if it's like in the middle of the woods someplace, and I'm not really, if they're on the edges of something, like the pads and stuff, I, I'm not worrying about them too much. I'm just adding a lot of foliage and making it look overgrown. This is, after all, wildwood, so I mean, it makes sense for that to be overgrown. I do need to get some more of these blocks right here. Was it this one? I think it was this one. I think it's this one right here, yeah. Um, yeah, so I can finish this. Yeah, it was. I got the right one. So I can finish this part off. Um, but yeah, I like sprinkling the blocks in together so that they actually uh, kind of form the uh, form the color, form the design, rather than just stand out solely on their own. Um, just need some of this stuff in here as well. Yeah, how's you guys doing in there? You guys still trying to eat me? Come here, give me a hug. All right, <laughs> I'm never gonna get uh, tired of that. Actually, I think that <laughs> I think that that's a blast. Um, I mean, they're trying to—they're like bloodthirsty. They're trying to maul me, but I mean, for me, I, I think it's just funny. Yep, there it is. <laughs> All right, so I'll keep adding blocks in here and see what we get for a path uh, in the end. I also have to do a little bit of like uh, guardrails along the the water there. Um, I'll probably add shrubs or bushes along that that uh, that walk. This part of the walkway right here, so that there's too much foliage that to if, like fall in on accident. Um, kind of like what it is over there. So at least this front part and the, the bushes might come along here as well a little bit. But for this front part right here, this is where you actually can come and see the uh, the fish. Um, but over here is where you're supposed to be focusing on the other exhibits. So I don't want to distract from them. All right, so let me get to placing a few more of these blocks in here, and then we'll have a finished path in no time. All right, I'm thinking that's it. That's a done path all the way around there. Okay, so now I just have to go ahead and sprinkle in some of these guys, actually, just to kind of raise this up a bit, because uh, this is where the uh, people are gonna have to walk up to get to the, um, get to see the platypi in there. Hey, Perry. Hey, Penelope. <laughs> uh, thanks again for all the name suggestions, by the way, people. That, that really helps me out a ton. Uh, my naming sucks. Actually, I mean, it, it's bad. <laughs> I do my best, I do, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not very creative when it comes to names. So, uh, I, I, if there's more cool things like that, um, I, I want to know about it. I want to know, know what other things change uh, the, the color schemes and the designs of the animals. I know there's one for the gorilla, like Winston, I think if you call it, it turns it into the gorilla from Overwatch with a cannon and stuff, which I'm definitely totally doing. Uh, <laughs> sounds too cool not to. Um, all right, so let's um, let's go ahead and sprinkle the rest of those in just real quick to get them out of my inventory. All right, so now that we have this pathway leading all the way around it, I'm going to go and work on this part right here. I need a bunch of these. Uh, do I have a bunch of those somewhere else too? Yes, I need some of these. And I think that should be about it. All right, now I do already have some fence posts in my inventory, which is an absolute wreck. Big surprise. I know that's not a shocker to anybody who's watching. 
because it always is a wreck. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle in a cup. Well, yeah, just one of those there, maybe, and maybe a little bit of that. Uh, let's add a little bit of block diversity there by changing the color of one of them there. I like how that looks. And then uh, maybe another one right over here. And we're, we're going to do something like that. I'll probably put like a trash can there or something. I want to put create like a little park bench someplace nearby here too for people to just sit and chill and watch their kids ride the camels or something. Um, all right, so now some of these flowers, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go ahead and remove. I also got to clear some blocks in my inventory because I have like some granite or whatever that I don't really need. Uh, let's chuck that one piece of dirt I can probably live without. Uh, that's about all I can live without. Let me uh, see if there's any room in my bat backpack. Uh, no, not really. Let's uh, let's start dropping them in here, <laughs> wherever I can fit them. <laughs> all right. So which backpack did I just have on there? This one. Okay, that's the one I want. All right. So let's go ahead and start collecting up some of these flowers, so that I can not completely destroy them. I want to try to leave the berry bush if I can. Um, all right, let's go ahead and sprinkle these guys in here. I, I feel bad tearing up these flowers. I, okay, at least I'm picking them up. Um, let's uh, let's get the other leaf blocks in here as well. Kind of sprinkle these things in. I'm going to have to destroy it. Sorry, it has to go. It's right in the way. Is it getting nighttime already? Jeepers, time flies. All right, let me, let me go ahead and take a snooze. Um, yeah, I swear, it was just nighttime, like, well, probably about... 15 minutes ago. Uh, it was just nighttime just a few minutes ago. It was kind of crazy. Alright, so let's go ahead and sprinkle in a few more of these leaves to make the bushes. Something like along the lines of this. Now I can actually build this up a little bit. Let's pick this one up too. Let's go something like this. And something along the back side of this. All right, yeah, I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. See, this is what I'm talking about, though. Now it creates a divide while you're walking here so that you don't just immediately jump into the pond on accident. Uh, you know, kids wander uh, once they start to walk. Ugh. Believe me, sorry if I'm spurting some parent knowledge here, but yeah, kids like to wander, and sometimes they do stupid stuff, so you always got to keep an eye on them. Um, all right, let's go ahead and drop that. Nope, no, I didn't want to do that. There. Take that away. Put that in there. Creating bushes. All right, now there is still a little bit here. I wouldn't mind actually, this is stone, so it wouldn't make much sense for it to be growing on there, but maybe it could be like stretching over, you know, a little bit. Uh, so I guess it kind of could make sense still. Let's do something like that, and then raise it up a little bit over here as well. Yeah, something to get a little bit more elevation change in the shrubs here, so that it kind of looks almost like a rook tower at the moment, so that's not really great. Let me, uh, yeah. Let me, I'm going to have to add a little bit more depth to this thing. Maybe even have a little smaller, higher perch. Because that's the only way I'm going to make this work. Otherwise, it's... Yeah, see, that already is starting to look right, but not quite. Um, oops, I just totally placed my backpack. Didn't mean to do that. Something like this might start looking a little better. Uh, I don't like that last time it's placed. Yeah, all right. That's it's kind of getting there. There's a little little empty space in here, but that's that could be all right. Um, something like that. Uh, let's bring this up. Now this doesn't look right at all from this side, so I got to do a little something here to make this kind of blend in a little bit better. And that might have been it right there. That might be all I need to do. Because when you're walking from this way, you're gonna be able to see that. Yeah, that li those lines right there, that, that's got to get broken up. Even if it's just a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that and just swap these two. Okay, now... <laughs> it's the sound of frustration right there. It's not working. All right, that works. Actually, that works all right. Uh, let's keep this, uh, keep this going a little bit, even on the stone over here. Uh, something to kind of block off this area just a bit. Actually, you know what else blocks off areas? Fences. Um, actually, that works out pretty good. Yeah. All right, I think that's all I got to do for this part right here. I mean, it is a little flat. Uh, yeah, okay, I think that fixed it just right there. I think that was all it. Oh, I do need to do this while stretching. I need more, I need more leaves. Uh, is this all the oak leaves I have? Oof. Okay, I gotta really stretch them, cause I I have to go collect more leaves basically. Um, I thought didn't didn't Maddie like give me a bunch of leaves someplace? I thought she gave me like a, just a stupid amount of them. 
I she probably did. It's probably in one of these backpacks, and I'm just like an idiot. <laughs> I could have swore she did, actually. This was my the wood one, yeah. That's the only one I remember, actually. And so that's... Hmm. I, I could have swore she gave me a bunch of these. Maybe she didn't. I've already used them. That could have been... That could be two. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and build this up a bit. Uh, something along the lines of that. It's actually not too bad for trying to conserve the leaves. Let's go ahead and pop that out of there. Yeah, that's not too bad for trying to conserve the leaves. That actually works pretty good. All right, so yeah, there, there's the foliage there on the southern side of this exhibit. Um, this obviously needs some rework here because this doesn't make much sense either. I could actually spatter in a bunch of leaves, but I'm gonna have to go collect. Uh, I'm gonna have to go collect more leaves. Give me a second. All right, I got some more leaves. I did it. I did all the farming. God, hey guys, are you happy I got leaves? All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just get these going in here too to kind of block off this area right here so that people don't climb in there or fall in there or do whatever. Um, I mean, it looks like they could just climb up the up the bushes and escape, but I mean, I'm not trying to keep people barricaded inside of the zoo. You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep things from outside the zoo getting in here, so uh, that's fine if people want to try to go swim outside and jump out over here, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and do something like that to make it look like it's kind of being held in place a little bit. Yeah, so that's the wilderness out there. I don't really have any plans for outside of the zoo. I mean, somebody a long time ago actually did mention that I should build a hotel here, which is actually a really good idea, uh, especially if this was more like a, a bigger build, like there's a whole like city being built here, and this was just the city zoo, which is actually a really cool idea. I mean... I do like doing big big builds, but this is already big enough for me for this server, so otherwise I would be leveling this forest and I'd be doing the whole, t <laughs> whole town here. So, uh, but yeah, this is this is good enough. But if I were to add a, a, a hotel, it would probably be like right here, just on the outside of the zoo, because that would make the most sense, I think. Uh, but yeah, this looks pretty good already on the minimap. You can see it kind of matches with a lot of the other terrain that we got going on around here. There's not a lot of trees in this area other than in the exhibit itself. So I do kind of want to fix that. I want to squeeze some trees in here someplace. Um, maybe right here. I could squeeze some trees in right here. I know it's stone, but if I replace the stone, which I have the ability to do, um, then I could just uh, make, make put some trees in there. So let's, uh, let's copy this uh, kind of ridge line right here because I don't want to actually mess that up. I think that looks fine. Uh, and then we're going to uh, put in some trees in this area. Actually, we could probably squeeze one in right here, actually, with a little bit of foliage around it. Yeah, it's coming together. Okay, I like it. All right, let's uh, let's get the tree backpack. <laughs> yeah, that one. Is it this one? No. Okay. <laughs> That's not it either. This, uh, I thought I had... Is it the empty one? No, it's not. Is it the non-empty one? Yes, it is. Okay, let's get some spruce trees. I used pine trees in here, right? Yeah, okay, let's get some spruce trees in here. Let's get, uh, let's just get, let's start with one and see how that goes. Um, uh, right there, perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to need, uh, some of this stuff to get it to grow up a little bit. Uh, could use a little bit more. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, that's not, that's not enough. Grow, grow bigger. Wow, that's certainly not, that, it's not really looking great. I'm starting to think that maybe I should have done another pine. Because what's up with this over here? It's like it's stretching. Oh, well, there's a branch right there. More bone meal! Uh, hopefully that's the answer. Ah, grow. That does not look right at all. Can I just take this branch off entirely? I can. I mean, that doesn't really look right either, but... Maybe it'll look better once it grows a little bit. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, that doesn't look that bad. Uh, all right, so let's get around to actually adding... Let's, uh, let's chop this one off, too. Right off the back. Be going with it. All right, that looks a little bit more like what I was hoping to, hoping to see. Let's go ahead and actually add a couple of uh, bushes in this area. Uh, I don't really want to go too gung-ho because, like I said, I just need to make a path leading this way. So I think this is probably fine. Um... Mm-hmm. Something like this. I haven't actually taken time to do these padding and bushes episodes, uh, like, in a while, because I try to do all these off-camera, because you guys have seen it in the beginning of the series, I used to do this. Um, 
but uh, now I'm actually trying to get back to my roots a little bit, you know, and do this uh, so that you guys can see the the uh, the detailing pain I have to go through <laughs> with this. <laughs> so uh, I think that looks that looks probably fine. Yeah, that looks all right. Let's get some uh, fences kind of looking like they're not right there. That doesn't make sense. Like they're trying to keep at least part of it back. And uh, hey, one of these guys right in front. Sure, awesome. All right, now right here, this leaves a nice little spot to plant or uh, put like a bench to kind of sit. And this isn't really where you actually. This isn't a good spot for a bench because you can't sit and watch your kids ride the tri uh, ride the uh, camels in. So this is actually be the spot for it. Actually, this would be the spot for it, but uh, Maddie's tent is in the way, so I'm just gonna have to hold off on that. Um, let's uh, actually let's uh, let's make a, a waste bin, which I think, if I remember the recipe right, it's one of these numbers. I think like this, and then a little that. Yeah, I got it right. All right, cool. I remembered it. All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna slap this bad boy like right here, uh, and then that would make sense if there was a park bench like right here. So park bench. <laughs> How do I make that again? Oh, I actually I, I looked it up last time I was on. Sweet. Um, okay, yeah, it looks like it has to be oak wood, which I have some of that since I just made those trees. So that's a plus. Um, let's, uh, I gotta put the, I gotta put some foliage away here. This is getting a little out of hand. It's the full one that was for the trees, right? Yes, it was. Okay, so that's correct. Uh, let's go ahead and put the something, here we go. I actually guessed correctly on that. Get the leaf blocks out of there. All right, I have a little bit of wiggle room in my inventory now. So let's, um, uh, let's make some sticks because I'm gonna need those. And we're going to need a f uh, oak fence gate was, I think, one of the things, right? Yep, oak fence gate. I also need a pressure plate as well. So let's go ahead and get one of those guys. And then I think that's everything, right? I can, I can just, uh, I can just uh, do this. Actually, here, but this is, this is, it, it doesn't give me the little plus thing unless I'm actually at a crafting bench, but now I am. So there I am. Okay, I need, I need more of those, though. I need, actually, because otherwise it's going to be just a single bench. So I'm going to need at least another one of those. So that I can get this made and have it look correct. Um, is that everything I need? Yes, it is. Got it. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and slap that guy down right there. I think that works. Usually it's a good idea. Oh, I can get rid of this though. Usually it's a good idea to have a, uh, a trash can nearby a bench. So if people are sitting there enjoying their soft drinks or whatever like that, they can just throw it away. All right. So I think this place is looking pretty good. Way better than what it was when I first got here. Um, uh, I also wanted to add something over here. Oh, how do I make these lamps again? The lanterns, lamps, the lamp. I think it's a lamp, lamp. There it is. Yep, need that. All right, let's let's make those things too real fast because uh, I want to uh, put one of them over there. I need gravel for that. Bat backpack, where are you? Save me. Where, oh, there you are. I like didn't see it in my inventory. I was like, where actually are you? Gravel, I got some. <laughs> I got some. Man, my inventory. You know, you guys wouldn't believe... Oh, I, I needed that. Uh, you guys wouldn't believe me if I told you, but I actually recently cleared it out. <laughs> but it's just that it gets so wildly out of control so fast that I can't contain it. It's just... Let's just grab all that. Uh, let's. I just need one of these things. And then I need the base also. And then I need the middle pole as well. Uh, all right, let's check that right there. And I want to put that light over here, actually, by the tree. I think that that'll look pretty good. Uh, can I actually put it in there? One, two, three. Yeah, I could. Um, let's actually put it right here. Now, hopefully the tree growing doesn't interfere with this, but I think this should look all right. Just like that. Bam. Done. All right. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything really else. I could actually fit another bench right there. That would look pretty good, I think. Um, hmm. Let me actually whip up another couple of benches real fast. All right, benches acquired. I'm going to put them over here so people can watch the Tasmanian Devils as they chase after their children here trying to murder them. That's pretty brutal. Not going to lie. Those things are kind of freaky. Uh, this doesn't really work anymore now that I did that, though. Um, I can just leave it out, actually. I think it's fine. All right, so this basically wraps up the terraforming in this area that I want to do, with the exception of adding a couple of these guys uh, in various places. I can even dot them in even on the path, kind of. I think that that works doing that. Uh -huh. The occasional one here or there works on the path. And then I also got to do a little bit of the uh, of the, the foliage. Uh, not, not just the uh, not just the bushes, but the actual like taller grass and stuff. So I'm going to need some more bone meal. And then I'm going to go around and sprinkle this in places. Like right here. And wow, there's not a lot of places. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and sprinkle some up here. And behind this. A little bit behind here. 
Yeah, that should be fine. Now alongside Maddie's tent, I think could use a little bit too. She's already got this bush here, but we're gonna add a little bit more, maybe make one tall. Uh, and then carve away to get to the front. And something like that. All right, yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I think uh, that might be it. I think that might be all I gotta do for this place. All right, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Actually, I did a little just a, just the pathing around this place, getting from A to B. That might actually be the name of the episode, getting from A to B. I'm not sure. All right, but if you guys did enjoy this episode, uh, please be sure to smash that like button. Helps me out a ton, and I'll get to building another exhibit uh, t uh, next week for sure. Because I don't want to go two weeks in a row without actually adding another animal to this. But I mean, I, I have to get this stuff done too, <laughs> otherwise it just doesn't look right. So, uh, thank you guys though so uh, so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. Uh, I will be back next week with some more zoo for you guys. So thanks again for watching, and bye-bye.